Here I've got a DHP80MP and I already have a video on one of these so you can go ahead and check out that video at the end of this one I'll put a link to it but for this specific model um, one thing I forgot to mention is a cool feature that it has actually and on the bottom there's a switch right here and it allows you to switch from hopefully you can see it well 40 watts to 60 watts output from the speaker leads and they're able to do that because if you notice it'll it actually has two ground wires as well as two red power wires for power if I can get it untangled so two reds and two blacks and that allows it to draw more power and have stronger speaker output straight um, stronger speaker outputs for your speakers whether you're wiring them to your doors or just running a set of tweeters off of this and an amp to some to some mids or something it increases the power output um, I don't trust that it's actually a real 60 watts coming out of the head unit maybe it increases by a few watts but typically head units are putting out around 15 15 watts uh, RMS so maybe it'll double tops I don't know but um, that's a really cool feature that these P80 MP radios have and you'll actually see on the screen when I turn it to the turn the head unit on it will actually show while you raise the volume that it's in 60 watt mode so that's how you'll know which uh, how many watts your speakers speaker output should be putting out for the sound output I have to use this RCA harness and these are actually pretty hard to find so um, I'm gonna be including it in with this with this DHP ADMP and what you do is you have to plug into the white oops plug it into the white port there you go and now you have your RCA outputs and I'm going to be testing it the same way I did with the with the 6800 so I'm going to be going from RCA this is the subwoofer output let's change that we'll test out the front and the rears as well so I just got it turned on <laughs> I just got it turned on go ahead and open the faceplate put in the same Stevie Wonder CD as the other radio And you can hear the sound coming out of the sound bar. And I'll go ahead and lower the volume. But that all works. Go ahead and eject the CD. That was the front outputs. I can also change the source. Go to the tuner to hear the static. And that's all coming out of the RCA outputs. I just switched to the rear output, so I'll go ahead and open the CD player up again and put the CD in again. And 
the sound comes out of the sound bar. Raising up the volume. Go ahead and lower that. But yeah, all the sound outputs are fine. My subwoofer is not that strong, so um, so when I tested the subwoofer output, you can't really hear it on the camera. So, um, but it works. The speaker outputs will all work as well. But other than that, this thing's good to go. Has all the sound. Faceplate looks good. CDs eject fine. And, and yeah, hope you enjoy.